Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB IEEE project which is entitled as Pancreatic Cancer Detection from CT Images Using Deep Learning which is an enhancement of IEEE base paper title Pancreatic Tumor Recognition from CT Images Through Advanced Deep Learning Techniques which is an IEEE 2024 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So there are various types of cancers available and especially this pancreatic cancer is one of the cancer which is very deadliest to the human. The pancreatic cancer is a very frequent cancer type being the fourth most often met cause of cancer related to death in the United States and the Europe. The major problem is like the pancreas located deep within the abdomen. So it is difficult to visualize clearly with the traditional imaging methods, which often leads to the late stage diagnosis with the limited treatment options. So another problem with this pancreatic cancer is like it, it does not show uh, symptoms uh, till it is affected very largely. So after that, it, if it is uh, identify and making the treatment is a very critical process so yearly detection will help the patients to recover and also will be useful to the patients for the survival of the death so in this base paper the authors have used advanced deep learning techniques for the pancreatic cancer tumor recognition from the ct images computed tomography images so in this base paper the authors have performed the recognition of pancreatic malignant tumors with the computed tomography images, CT images with the aid of CNN by employing last generation architecture as well as their improved version respectively combinations of these structure at classifier and the decision level. So they have achieved accuracy of 98% and uh, coming to the data set part they have used CT images belonging to 26 patients affected by the pancreatic adenocarcinoma. So these images were gathered from O Federal Regional Institution of Gastroenterology and Hepatology in Cluj Hapio under the same setting using a CT spiral Simons device with 64 detectors. So this is the data set uh, details that they have taken from and uh, finally they have achieved an accuracy which is around 98%. So this is about the base paper part. So kindly note that we are not going to do the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see about our proposed system that what we have enhanced from the base paper. So here you can see the proposed title, the IEEE base paper title and the IEEE base paper abstract. And coming to our proposed abstract, so we are going to develop the uh, pancreatic cancer detection using CT images using the AlexNet CNN model. So we are going to use the AlexNet CNN model as the proposed system and we have achieved 100% accuracy and coming to the data set part we are going to use the data set content CT images which contains total of 999 CT images where it contains two classes of 421 normal images and 500 and 77 CT images which exhibit the pancreatic tumor class. So from the base paper you can see the difference that we are going to use. So the first one is the model we are going to use AlexNet model. Second one is the data set we are going to use increased data set with 998 CT images. Third one is we have improved the accuracy up to 100 percentage. So this is the difference between the existing and the proposed system. And here in the abstract part we have uh, mentioned about the proposed abstract part and uh, objectives you can see the main objective is to develop the deep learning based classification model using AlexNet to accurately difference between the normal pancreatic tissue and the pancreatic tumor in the CT images and uh, enhance the diagnostic accuracy and efficiency by automating the feature extraction classification process reducing lanes on manual interpretation and minimizing the misclassification risk. So the existing system, you can see this existing system. So now we are considering the base paper as the existing system part. So in the existing system, they have used CNN 
uh, they have employed last generation CNN architecture, the improved version, the combination of the structure for both classify and the decision level. So based on that, uh, they have been experimented with the data set which contains uh, uh, CT images from the 26 patients and uh, those the images whichever they have got it from these places and the equipment details have been mentioned here and in the existing system ROI or patches were automatically extracted using sliding window algorithm generating 32 into 32 pixel samples so these uh, samples are organized into two classes tumor and non-tumor providing the foundation of for training and the evaluation the CNN architecture employed demonstrated the ability to extract the meaningful deep learning feature confirming the establishment of the pancreatic malignant tumor. So the existing system achieved accuracy of 98% and the disadvantage of the existing system. So the first disadvantage is limited data size, then comes the manual tumor delimination, patch based approach, dependence of specific equipment settings, complex model combinations, moderate accuracy. So these are the limitations that is being described in the disadvantages of the existing system. And coming to the proposed system part, so we are going to develop the pancreatic cancer detection from CT images using deep learning using MATLAB. And we are going to utilize the AlexNet CNN model for classification. So here we are going to classify into normal and pancreatic tumor. So the data set contains 998 CT images with 421 as normal and 577 as pancreatic tumor. So first step is pre-processing step where it includes several techniques to enhance the quality of the images from the model training. So noise removal is achieved using median filter which helps eliminate the relevant variation in the pixel density. Then comes the contrast enhancement is performed with the CLAH that is contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization which improves the visibility of the detail of the image. And then the images are resi resized to the consistent dimension to maintain the uniformity. After pre-processing, the AlexNet is trained on the image. So based on the AlexNet, uh, it is classified into the normal and pancreatic tumor. Finally, the model performance is evaluated using the several performance evaluation metrics like accuracy, error rate, precision, sensitivity, recall, specificity and the MCC values. Um, and coming to the advantages of our proposed system, you can see the main advantage is enhanced image quality through pre-processing consistency and uniformity, improved model performance with AlexNet CNN, comprehensive performance evaluation, automation and efficiency, early and accurate diagnosis are the important advantages of a proposed system. So those being described in this advantages of a proposed system part. And coming to the system architecture, the training process contains the database of the CT images, pre-process applied and training of using CNN is done and generation of the train model has been given. So in the testing process, the train model is applied and the input CT images has been given as input and pre-processing is done, which makes the filtering or by median enhancement by CLHAE and resize and classification using CNN classifier is done and classified results is normal or the pancreas and finally we show the performance measure so in the modules you can see these are the models that we are going to use and the model description of the project has been showing the each model uh, descriptions and system requirements so this is the minimum hardware requirements and software requirements so this project can be executed windows 10 or 11 the coding language uses matlab the tool that we have used matlab or 2023b and this is the IEEE base paper reference so now uh, before execution let us show the, uh, the data set part so in the data set part we have the normal so these are all the normal ct images which is around 421 uh, ct images then comes the pancreatic tumor images so this is around 577 so these are the tumor images data set part now let us execute the project so first go into the source code location we have the full coding just copy this full uh, com full coding folder completely now go to your uh, uh, documents that is in your pc documents you can see matlab folder inside that so inside that paste this uh, folder which we have copied full coding now open your matlab now after opening the matlab in the left side panel you can see the project is loaded completely because as we have pasted the project folder inside that the matlab folder the project will be loaded automatically so now before execution make sure that you have added the required toolbars so just go to the add-ons and 
and select your get add on spot and you can you need to add the required uh, toolbar so here uh, you can see the add on so you need to add the toolbox computer vision toolbox deep learning toolbox deep learning toolbox model for alexnet network image processing toolbox or statistic and machine learning tools so these are all the important toolboxes to be added in your uh, project before execution in case if you're not uh, installed these toolbars you may get error so make sure that you have added it through the add-ons menu so once after uh, if it is added now let us execute the project so just select this final dot yum right click it and then select run so now you can see the gui so here you can see the project title pancreatic cancer detection from ct images using deep learning the first step is loading the image read the test image part so just select this so the pick up an image window will open so here go to the test images so now let me select an uh, image so once after selecting the image this will be loaded in this test ct image part so next is the pre-processing part so just select the pre-processing so now after clicking the pre-processing you can see these three operations done that is first one is noise removal using median filter you can see the uh, result of it and, and then comes the contrast enhancement using clhae and then comes the resized image and uh, once after doing this select the classification part so now you can see the training train network model was loaded message and then you can see the classification result using CNN model is pancreatic tumor so you can see the result uh, that I have uploaded is pancreatic so printed score you can see it is 100% printed score is pancreatic tumor so if you wanted to check with other case you can just load it uh, by selecting the read images or let me close it and then let me run it again I'll select the read test image the test images I'll select the first image and then go for the pre-processing so now the noise removal using median filters applied contrast enhancement using CLHA is applied and resized images applied now let me go to the classification part so now you can see the result is the normal one and you can see picture score is 0 0.999523 and uh, this way you can just check with uh, all other images that is available in the test and train folder now let me go to the performance analysis part so just click this performance analysis part now after a few minutes you can see this message completed click ok so now let us see one by one so first one is the figure one classification to the predicted score you can see the images that is taken and you can see that is a normal with 95 percentage normal with 99.1 percentage normal 100 percentage pancreatic tumor with 100 percentage so these uh, classification to the predicted score is shown for the few, few images that data set that are taken and then you can see the second is the confusion matrix so confusion matrix shows the normal and pancreatic tumor clays for the true and the predicted label of it and then finally let us see the uh, performance analysis of it so in the performance analysis you can see the accuracy is 100 percentage error is zero precision value is 100 percentage specificity is 100 percentage sensitivity is 100 percentage f1 score is 100 percentage mcc is one so we can see the performance analysis uh, by clicking the performance analysis part so in this way you can check with uh, all other cases that is available in the test and train folders so if you wanted to make the training process you can just select this training underscore pre-process yum and run make sure that you have already added the uh, required uh, toolboxes in it Just select the training.yam and run it. So now you can see the train images and you can see the deep learning network analyzer part. Now you can see this uh, training progress window which uh, which has the training iterations of 350 and it is now it is third part. So now you can see the training start time, end time, 
training cycle validation uh, the information you can see here so it takes uh, some time to complete maybe of an hour or one hour depending upon your your uh, system resources it may vary so this is a sample that I have uh, shown you so in this way you can make the training process to be done now let me stop it in the command window you can see the details uh, and now you can see we have stopped it manually so training finished and stopped manually details so in this way you can make the training and testing process and this is all about the project pancreatic cancer detection from ct images using deep learning in matlab and thank you for watching